tools this one here I think the safety's on hold on oh there it goes need to loosen that's the cutter ah! tie downs you know plumbers uh, tie downs your I don't know one inch rounded mounts don't normally need them but you know, sometimes want to use them it's a good idea this right here if I may See that? And it cinches down. It's real tight. It's the crimper for the PEX, which is that. The PEX ring. Bada bing. And we're going to do some PEX. I'm your host, Max, and we're going to do some PEX today. So I hope you're excited. down here so you get an idea better check it out so there's our hole we're gonna come down drill two holes there we're gonna connect up under here in this dark area we're gonna run down all through here gonna enter a hole there I'm gonna fish it through the outside through here bam we're gonna pop out here I'm gonna snip it a little extra just so I don't run short and then we're gonna tie into all this and then run more pecs from that side coming to the uh, kitchen sink and the bathroom. I'm going to measure, see how much I need. Now we're running our PEX lines. I ran them through there, snaked them through here. I'm going to connect PEX with a 90 degree angle. PEX is just a new way doing plumbing lines they used to use piping now it's pecs in a lot of cases a lot simpler first things first you slip on your pecs ring over the desired amount of hose push in your connector piece until it stops i go about an eighth or so maybe an eighth and a sixteenth away from the edge lock in your clamp devices and snap it's that simple bam now it's on there and it's not coming off. Okay, I got my other piece that's going to run up to the faucet here. I'm going to go ahead and just connect that right now. It's easier to connect it outside here than trying to fit everything into place and connecting it inside there. It can turn out to be a nightmare. You can't fit the channel locks in. You know, one thing after another. So once again, slip on the PEX fitting. Generally, you want to put the direction you're going. It will uh, swivel, but uh, it's recommended not too much swiveling, just for the simple fact you don't want no leakage. I got that on there and engage. Ba bam! There you go. Just like that, a 90 degree pex fitting. More to come. So, I got to drill out some holes down here for the hut and cold. Alright, so now we got our two holes, one there and one there. We can run some pecs through it. Airstream bathroom. Now, I'm going to connect a three-way pex connection to a hotline for the bathroom sink. I'm also going to connect on this side the hotline coming from the shower that I wrapped around previously and this is going to shoot out the hot water for the sink and this is going to connect to the water heater so since I got to work in tight spaces I'm trying to do most of my connections on friendly ground the the hot water for the sink is going to be coming this way so I'm just going to angle that just so when it's pointing it's pointing a little more towards the sink and not so straight up so the pipe don't have to to fight, you know, curves and bends that naturally come with the pipe. Okay. I'm going to feed this back through here. I'm going 
connect with my other pipe back here. So check it out. As you see, we're going to connect to that pipe right there. And then one's going to shoot straight and come back past this piping. And it's going to go right up there to a sink that's not cutting. We yet. got the finished product. As you can see back here, that uh, everything's connected. The line's going straight through and coming this way to the sink. Bada bing. Now we're going to do the same for the cold line. And it's going to go up to a sink right there. And running nicely, tuck back, to mount that, and it's going to go through there. They'll probably be Okay, so we've ran our PEX all the way from the shower to here, hot and cold. I've ran the cold line from the front sink and uh, the bathroom sink to here. Now we're going to take all this old line here, this gray stuff, and we're going to replace it with new PEX line. And we're going to tie in this cold water, these two, to this one right here after all this is redone. So let's do it. Oh, there's these, these grips here. Bada bing!